check, check out reviews. The fuel trim valves are being cycled. Make sure that those are working. We use that to throttle the amount of propellant going through the first stage down to the engines as we go through flight. Coming up on T-minus seven minutes, we'll listen into the countdown now. Stage one engine chill has begun. So well, you've heard it. We're through another milestone. Next one coming up here at six minutes. Yep, that's right, John. And that RP1 kerosene is filling that second stage. We're anticipating a little longer for that first stage to be completely filled with that RP1 refined kerosene. Liquid oxygen will continue to flow through the first and second stages up until the final few minutes before launch. That next call will be that the stage one RP load is complete. Coming up now in about 15 seconds. Stage one, we'll RP1 stand by for that complete. call now. And confirmation, we have a complete fill of RP1 on the first stage. Now the first and second stage are completely filled with that RP1 kerosene. Now just under six minutes to launch until that instantaneous launch window today. The next milestone will be for Dragon to transition to configure for terminal count. And that's when Dragon's onboard computers will take control of the vehicle and Dragon will be on internal power, no longer relying on those lines from the ground. From there, Falcon 9 tanks will pressurize for strong back retract. That'll be another visual milestones. The clamps just below Dragon's trunk will open and the strong back will tilt back just two degrees, then right after liftoff back to 45 degrees. Again, RP-1 kerosene filled on both the first and second stages. Liquid oxygen continues to flow through on the first and second stages. Standing by now for that call that Dragon has transitioned into terminal count. Dragon isn't configured for terminal count. Falcon 9 propellant tanks are pressurizing for sprung back retract. All right, John, some good calls. Dragon is now on internal power, and Falcon 9 propellant tanks are pressurizing for strong back retract. Yes, thanks, Courtney. What we're waiting to hear now is the call out for strong back is retracting. This will be a two step process. First, we'll spend about half a minute opening right, up the arms that clamp begun. around the second stage. And there's the call out. The sequence has begun. So we'll slowly open up the arms around the second stage. We might get a view if we've got a close-up of the camera. Then once the arms are open, the strong back alongside Falcon 9 will retract about two degrees away from the rocket. It will stay there all the way through liftoff. And then, as Courtney mentioned, at liftoff, hydraulics will then pull it down to about a 45-degree position above ground, and that will give us the final clearance. It's that strong back right now that is providing the liquids, the gas connections, the electrical connections to the launch vehicle, especially the second stage. We're hearing some of the venting of the vehicle as we are uh, pressurizing and depressurizing at various steps. As we get ready, you'll see a burst of uh, depressurization there on the second stage. That's right, John. We're also anxiously awaiting the stage one liquid oxygen is complete on the first stage. You should hear that call coming up here shortly. Stage one locks load complete. And confirmation that the stage one locks load is complete. All right now, locks is going to continue loading on second stage. Dragon That'll wrap up count the team on internal power. Dragon's gone internal power. Now again, at T minus two minutes, we'll finish liquid oxygen loading. 
And then a typical event, we will drain the propellant lines that go along the strongback, and we'll typically get a large cloud of condensation uh, at about 90 seconds before launch as we see the propellants come back down off of the strongback to prepare for liftoff. Stage two locks load complete. Dragon is an auto idle. All right, Falcon 9. With that, Falcon 9 is fully fueled. We have fuel on both the first and second stages. Yes, and both stages are advanced. filled with Expect liquid. Loud venting. Filled with liquid oxygen. Dragon is also in auto idle. The flight computers on board Dragon maintaining their calculations, standing by for the T minus zero mark. That next call out will be that Dragon is in countdown, standing by now for that call. FTS is armed, Falcon 9 is in start up, and we're now controlling. Dragon is in countdown. All right, the final minute before launch. Just 47 seconds to go. Everything is Dragon, ready for an on-time launch today. Go for launch. Endurance captains, go for launch. Ground teams are ready, and crew three is ready for liftoff, heading for that instantaneous launch window. Twenty seconds to lift off. You want fifteen seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition and lift off. Guys, three. Okay, one laboratory in orbit, the International Space Station. Vehicle is pitching downrange. And that's the call we want to hear. Good performance on that first stage so far. T plus 30 seconds, Falcon 9, powered by nine Merlin 1Gs. Pushing Dragon into low Earth orbit on the way to the International Space Station. Power and telemetry nominal. Stage one, throttle down. And we're into the throttle bucket. In a preparation for Max Q. One Bravo call is for the second stage abort mode on the first stage that is going to take them through the first stage burning just before the second stage activates off the coast of North Carolina. That next milestone coming up shortly will be MVAC chill underway. MVAC chill underway. There's a call out. We're getting the second stage engine turbo pumps ready for their ignition coming up in just a little more than uh, 40 seconds. We've got the major events coming up here shortly. We're going to get main engine cutoff at 2 minutes 36 seconds. The stages will separate, and then the second stage will ignite, carrying Dragon on its way into low Earth orbit. Everything continues to look good. Stage one throttle down. Stage one throttling down at three and a half G's. Getting ready for Miko.
Miko. Stage separation. Stage two alpha. Copy, two alpha. All right, we have ig ignition of the second stage. And you saw that green flash Good, of that ignition. t -tab fluid. And crew three is now on their way to the International Space Station. On the left side, first stage, you can see the titanium grid fence coming out, the streaks uh, of the exhaust of the second stage engine going by, and the lights of Florida down in the background. Position signal. That's right, and on your right, that second stage glowing.